From Divine Sistar of the Light, Erini, Crystal and Indigo Guide to the Galaxy, Athens, May 12th, 2023. Knowledge is achieved through remembrance. Plato, the subconscious part of the self, part of the plan of the fallen creation was that a big part of the self of those who had fallen into it would be hidden away from conscious access and process. This took place for mainly two reasons. First was that one could make it through the separation. The very painful and torturous experiences and the demonic possession that was required and survived by pushing all of these energies and memories into the subconscious world. And second, that one could not fully remember and claim sovereignty and exit. The whole process was part of the fractalization of the self, as we are now in the process of becoming whole again by achieving inner unification, we are able via divine guidance to bring salvation to this part of the self, heal it and eventually turn it into a conscious part and fully own true identity and remembrance again. Humanity through this fractalized state was led to create addictions and codependency and give its power away. This is now also ending, as one is breaking free from all inner limitations and is able to embody full reconnection to Source Self. This work is directly connected to all parallel aspects of the Self and their salvation too. For me, this is the biggest gift for humanity. Consciously attending to the salvation of the subconscious self makes a huge difference because it is allowing the higher selves to deliver a full plan of healing and restoration. This plan is unique for each person and it includes the necessary support according to one's needs. It has been available since the beginning of March 2023 and it is meant to fully unfold and be realized during the next three years so that each being is finally consciously free and sovereign again. The Luciferian contracts are the initiate contracts that each soul was led to participate in upon the realization that she had fallen into the mandatory cycles of the satanic creation after the poisoning that took place which pulled the being out of the living creation. These contracts include the control of the inner nodes of the kundalini paths and the hacking of the portals of the planets and hold one's root cause of suffering and self-rejection but also all keys to one's liberation. The fallen plan was able to unfold and succeed because of these initial contracts. Upon the ceiling of these contracts was where most souls lost their true sovereignty and started falling even deeper into oblivion, taking upon a false identity and sense of self. Breaking free from the Luciferian contracts has a positive domino effect onto all the other contracts that one created and participated in during the journey and the fallen reality. So this is of great significance. After the return of the four living diamonds back on earth and with the support of the Uranian guides of the heavenly realms, souls are able to again to consciously and safely retrieve all of their own contracts, examine them, and bring cancellation and resolution where it is needed in order to break free from the limiting conditions and be able to return to true life. Those who can receive the uranium are souls who are ready to move on to the next stage of their evolution, claim back their divine rights and jurisdictions upon the land. This is directly connected to the twin flames, who are getting ready now to take back what was stolen from them and which was always truly theirs. Twin flames are the true divine and royal heirs and heiresses of the lands, and there are more lands lands that were purposely hidden from them via the fallen programming. Blessings of Remembrance Erini Hunama Anata Kumara